Hello, everyone. Yeah, told you I'd do this. Alright, this is a short little coloring session to try and color fidget from Dust and Elysian Tale. Uh, you guys remember what I told you about how I hated uh, the way certain characters were made uh, when it came to either the character design, either uh, the way the character was positioned, or just the look of the character. Now, my biggest issue with the original fidget design is that there were no volume. Um, when you draw a character, you can't keep a stiff... You know, you can't have your character look stiff. And one thing I've noticed with the, the concept art when it came to that, and of course, again, I'm not going to blame the original guy. He practically did the entire game himself. himself. He's a cool animator. But that's just one thing that gets on my nerve. Um, you'll notice if you look back at the original videos and some of the original concept art, character has n doesn't really have any eyes. And also, there's no real lines to tell volume. Um, so it really irked me whenever I saw any character in that game, maybe except from Dust. And even then, when I saw Dust without all this mask, I just lost it. Um, just a complete lack of volume when it comes to character design. And you can notice that when it comes to uh, the shading, he used a gradient shading, which is good at the start, but gradient shading often doesn't give you um, a set amount of volume. So you'll notice here, um, I grow from curve to straight lines. And especially some of my curved lines are thicker to show volume uh, within space or within the character. Like the ear, there you go, a bit more volume. Um, and yeah, the whole curved to straight line type of technique, you don't want to use it um, to say it by the book. You know, you don't want to keep it as a crutch. But it's another thing that will really help character design, which kind of irked me with the game a lot. And I think most of the characters were only curves. And you need to add some straight lines in there to have some balance. Or else it just looks, uh, the character looks mushy. And you do not want all your characters to look mushy. I think the only ones that kind of slightly strayed away from that were the soldiers. And even then, they had masks. You couldn't even see their faces. So I guess it's a plus for them. But when it came to most of the characters, most of their faces, um, and talking about the concept art and such, they only seem to have uh, curves instead of straights. So they all felt kind of mushy, which is quite annoying to see um, in a sense when it comes to artwork I it's my personal pet peeve so and even at this point I gave uh, fidget actual eyes I didn't leave those uh, blank eyes those kind of like um, Disney box art type of eyes you know those those box art uh, that they made in mass quantity and you know the person that did it did it really roughly and didn't um, include, let's say, actual uh, circle eyes, that kind of stuff. It's difficult to say, and again, I do not want to slam on the guy. The guy is a terrific animator. Dude, the guy did the entire animation and special effect. Great stuff. It's fucking epic. It's badass. I respect that guy a lot for that. But this is just a, a bit of a different take on the character design along with different tips and hell even now with the shading i'm just trying to add volume i'm not trying to do anything too complex and it's the kind of globe shading you'll see in street fighter alpha tree where it's going to center um let's just say it's going to give volume but center around a specific area instead of uh, having multiple layers of volume so it's really basic really quick but it does the job. It's not something I'll do uh, for a client, but it's something I'll do on my own and possibly a print out of. I did an extended version of this, or I added a few things afterward. Um, I'll put the link on DeviantArt, or the DeviantArt link, or you'll see it on Tumblr as well. But uh, yeah, this is just quick coloring, adding volume. The sketch was you know, scanned on paper before my scanner died. Uh, rest in peace scanner it's been like seven years eight years 
Still, R.I.P. <laughs> Not to get another comic book type scanner. But, uh, yeah, again, uh, you gotta have your straights and your curve to have balance. You do not want to have all mushy character design unless you're designing a blob or a different kind of creature. You know, it could be your goal, but you can't have all your character cast be mushy. And at the same time, volume is very important. I'm still dealing through um, figuring out volumes for myself, different types of volumes and such. So it's not, you know, don't take this by the book. You never take art lessons by the book. You just learn, experiment, and then see what you keep. And especially for this kind of coloring method, man, that was done, uh, I think it's within an hour or so. And really rough, you know, nothing high class, but I think it still works for print wise. So here you go. I'll drop the link in the description uh, to the full picture or the final picture. And again, remember straights versus curves, gotta have that volume and you gotta have your eyes. Definitely gotta have your eyes. All right, but still Dust and Elysian Tail, great fucking game. Go check it out on Steam or XBLA. I am signing out with this fireball that turned really useful. Later guys.